try not to look too head on and not to raise my eyes so that you don't see the glare in my glasses. So I'm just going to look at you right here. And yes, I know you, you've seen the, this dress before, but this is my life. Okay, so hey guys, I am back with another video. Today, I am going to share with you five things I think you should consider before you decide to do a big job. So you guys know that I am a huge proponent of the big job. This is my second big job and there was no damage to my hair. I just feel like there is power in the big job. But before you undertake a big job, there are some things you may want to consider to decide whether this is really what you want to do. I feel like the big job would work for anybody and it would encourage and give a boost of confidence to anybody who does it. I would encourage anyone to do it. But it's always wise to weigh your pros and your cons and to decide if something is the best method for you. Number one, I want you to consider whether you are open to learning and growing because there will be a period of learning and growing. It doesn't matter if you've had natural hair your entire life. If you undertake a big job, you have to be prepared to be patient and to learn and to grow because it is a totally different experience. Even if I had done a big job before, in 2011, this was a totally new experience for me. The way my hair responded was different. Um, the way my long hair responds to certain styles and the way my short hair responds to certain styles, very different. So it took a period of learning and growing. I am still learning and growing with my hair. So if you know you don't have patience and you're not willing to learn and to play around with your hair and to go through the process of trial and error, then not only is the big job probably not the best route for you, but the natural hair journey will not be an enjoyable one for you. It is about learning about yourself, about your hair and embracing it. Number two is the person who will be cutting your hair knowledgeable about natural hair. And that is very, very important. And I will use myself as an example. So if you've watched my previous videos about my second big job, you would have seen that I mentioned somewhere that the cut that I got, although it was beautiful and I embraced it and I enjoyed it, was not what I went in for. And no shade to my hairstylist. She did an excellent job. She handles natural hair well, although it's not her favorite. But I think what prevented me from getting the cut that I wanted, which was a little longer than what I got, is that my hairstylist did not account for shrinkage. So my hair was stretched when I came to her. She cut more than she probably would have cut if she realized that my hair would have shrunk so much. So make sure you go to somebody who knows what they're about and what they're doing and they're up on the natural hair game. Number three, something you need to take into consideration before you do your big job is that if you are not someone who's flexible, then this thing is probably not for you. The reality is just having natural hair in itself and especially the big job will put you in positions where you need to be flexible. And what I mean by that is you may have planned this great twist out and you envisioned it in your head and you achieved that twist out last week and you're using the exact same products and giving your hair just the same amount of time to dry. But lo and behold, this twist out does not turn out well. You need to be able to be flexible. What having natural hair will teach you is that you have to roll with the punches and always have a backup plan. For example, for me, I use head wraps a lot when my hair is in this stage because if my hair does not turn out the way I want, I need to have something where I can still look cute. Yes. So you have to learn to roll with the punches. If your twist out does not turn out well, what will you do? Will you be frustrated and be exasperated because I've seen people have a meltdown because their hairstyle did not turn out the right way. Mm. Learn to be flexible, boo. Number four, you need to understand that your hair is unique to you. And so you need to be prepared to learn your own hair. You cannot grow natural or do a big job with the intention of adopting somebody's entire regimen with no changes. You have to be prepared to make changes and to play around with your hair to figure out what works best for you. 
So yes, some techniques of mine will work for you, but you have to be willing to, you know, dibble dabble and play around with certain things. And that's how God made us. He did not operate like we were factory products. He designed us individually and counted our individual hairs on our heads and decided what density we should have and what texture we should have, even if you're identical twins. You're no mistake, boo. The Lord fashioned you individually. <laughs> Let me stop. Number five. You have to be prepared to encounter an awkward phase, an awkward stage in your hair growth. That is the in-between stage where your hair is not very short again and so it doesn't take your short styles as well and neither is it long so it can't take some styles that require some length. You have to be able to navigate this in-between stage. So for me, I use head wraps. I use protective styles a lot like Mali Twist and you saw me with my four locks. I will leave video tutorials for each of these up for you guys. These are my ways to tackle the in-between phase. I've seen people do the big chop and they're so panic stricken because they do not anticipate any of these things. So I want to give you a little heads up but don't be a coward please do the big job before you leave please comment down below any tips you would give somebody who's thinking about doing the big job treat the comment section as a forum so that people who are watching who are thinking about growing natural and doing the big job would have some more information so that they're not going into it unawares okay so leave your tips down below for them and don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe because we are a family here. You need to subscribe to join the family, boo. Yes. So welcome to the family in advance. And I'll see you guys later.